Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're doing a review on a new game, Sniper Elite 3, and it's in uh, it's, the game's actually based in Africa. So we're going to do a review on how to. Um, the single player mission. Snipers. Snipers in the wall. And learn a few things from the uh, the other Sniper Elite game, which was V2. Right, so it's still a third person base. And our mission is to shoot uh, our, the, the enemy uh, spotters. So we zoom in. Steady. Shoot. Nice. That's why I like these games. Actually, kill. Cool. Right, so we've got to move down there. Best reload just in case. Okay. I'm not going to stand there. Search for more spotters. Right, there's one over there. Let's take him down. Where should we go? good to in the groin area, see what happens. our binoculars to d identify the weak points of vehicle or artillery and stuff like that. So we push the R stick, zoom in, now if you can see, oops, on that. Tag in here. Right, so we've got red point. Shoot that one down. There we go. Let's see what happens. There we go, it's killed them all. So we have now got to find a route through the mountain pass. The Germans are using Nebelwerfers. I have to do something about them. Right, use A to climb and leap across gaps when approaching it. Or you can hold it down, which is what I'm going to do now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, um. Right, the. No, uh, whatever he says. Uh, they're the German rocket launchers. They won't hear me approach if I Can crouch. Use B to crouch. Oh, there's German officer here. Use Y behind him as a sign and he kill them. Right. 
Right, let's search our bodies by holding the X button. And right. Um quickly show you. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Is it this one? Yes. Um on the optional objective it says get eight kills using stealth takedown. So that stealth takedown what we just done, we've got to do eight of them. And at the same time we've also got to eliminate four crew destroy the nebel woofers or eliminate the crew four times right so we'll bear that in mind let's go behind him now if I kill him silently still take down it should go back to one Now, if you've noticed, I'm getting experience points from this. And basically, there's an option where, on the main menu, you select the challenges, and you can do like a solo... This is a good time to use the will ride. Solo survival. And, uh, you can use your experience, just like Call of Duty sort of thing, but use experience to sort of unlock other guns, explosives, and stuff like that. Right. You can either select your weapons by using the D-pad, D-pad, or hold down the left button and use your right stick to navigate through. So we've got to select that. That's our silenced pistol. Right, half yellow circle is an enemy spotting you. Full circle is when the enemy is suspicious. Red is when they're searching for you, and the full circle of red is when they're attacking you. Sweet. Right. Now, I think you're meant to shoot these people down. <laughs> but we're going to take them down silently. Might be best to pick him up and just put him behind this box here. That's fine. No. Come on. Uh, oh, I totally blew that up, didn't I? Word of advice, if you're going to move a body, make sure they don't see you. <laughs> Search all these bodies. Right, if you look on your mini-map, uh, we need to look at for the white arrow, so white arrow, we've got to go straight ahead. So let's go this way. Someone right in this tent. So we're gonna go in here silent. Do a silent kill. Go three out of tents. <laughs> it took his time. Right. There's a person step walk patrolling there. That way is clear. Oh god, I was supposed to take him out. Without being spotted. Oh sugar. Right, let's do it this way. Oh, no, 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 no. That's gonna get me killed. Alright, let's go around. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna have to move this body because he's gonna see it. So we just dump in here. Throw body. So back to our objective. Alright. Nearly got spotted. Alright, let's go this way. Don't spot me, don't spot me. Here we go. Right. Boom. Right, over there is our missile launcher. But if you still want to do stealthy takeouts, you have to go the long way. So let's jump up. How many to be oh god. Some sounds are loud enough to mask your shots. When the icon appears you can shoot unheard. Alright. But we're not gonna worry about that because we're gonna do stealth and take stealth kills. Stealth him and shoot them with a sniper rifle. Just slip my sniper rifle. There is a flashing icon. And we have to. That's basically the last sound word, so you have to be out of the area. So when nearby people come and have a look, they won't see you. That makes sense. Oh. Two people straight ahead of us. That's what we're gonna do it now. Oh no. Oh no. Set my grenade. Oh no, I can cancel it. Good. Set my pistol just in case. Right. What's he gonna do? Got an idea. I can select a rock. Hello? Right, that should draw him. Or draw him. Could draw someone. Stealth kill him. Da ist er! Position an! <laughs> One person there. Which way is he going? Where is he? Oh, that was close. Oh, he's inside. Sneak up behind. I mean, go for that coming in. Oh, shit. Let's sneak up the other way. Go, 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 go. Yes. 
Well, so we need to kill two more people suddenly. Right. I just picked up some weapons part or whatever. We'll come to that later. Right, um... Right, so we've got three people here. One there. Two there. Let's kill him sliding and one they fire that. Just to be on the safe side. over here. Now we don't have to worry about doing the stuff kills. Right. 30, 30 meters away. Let's climb up here. Right, so it's behind this ledge and I can see two people, there's definitely two people at the gun, one right here. Survey the desert beyond the American Pass. Right. So let's go up here. So yeah, if you don't know where you're going, always look for like a star. It tells you where you need to go. Slow on, just in case. Wow. Oh, uh, oh, so that's the end of the first mission. I think that's like a prologue, so you know what exactly was happening, which is pretty cool. So, we've unlocked our first achievement, the Gazella Gallop. Um, what we now do is, just to sort of let you guys know what's happening, just look at this for a sec. So this is, this is our experience. So I've unlocked an MP40, dynamite, a weapon part, flint and steel, and all oh, right. I see. So we found an option. We done our optional objective. I didn't find a playing card. Didn't go to a sniper nest. Didn't find two war diaries. And didn't get a long shot. Hmm. Okay, so I don't want to continue. I want to exit. We lost right, to Brooke, Let's just skip this for a sec. But my work. Here we go. Right, so you can customize your loadout, which is also cooperative single player. Uh, you've got two 
class, uh, sorry, four classes, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Uh, let's select it. Edit. Your primary weapon, now uh, you can select four sniper rifles at the moment. I assume that more DLCs you can get new, different weapons. Um, so we've got the M1 Garand, the Carcano, I think that's how you say it. The Greer 43 and the Lee Enfield Mark III. Um, change your assault rifle. Sten Mark II, MP40, Thompson and the Panzer Shrek. And your pistols. Wellward, Luger, the Webley. And you can select what grenades you want, but you can only have two of each. So we've got the bandage, medkit, grenade, dynamite, landmine, trip mine, sticky mine or something, S mine, and AP rounds, armor piercing rounds can destroy weapons in the few shots. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, Yep, and that's that. Now you can customize your rifle. But, so you press Y. Customize your scope. So as we found the blurred, blued scope, modified and reconditioned scope with durable protective coating. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have that. You can change your barrel. And your stock, and the action, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna keep it as that with the blurred, blued scope. You can change the rectile, but I think that's when you find the parts. So it's good what they're doing here. I think they focus a lot on the uh, the bullet going through the skull wall, the body, that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, stay tuned and we have part two. Oh, achievement, this is my rifle. <laughs> so yep, stay tuned and there will be more of this game and more other games. And definitely in November there will be the new Call of Duty game. And there might be the new Splint Cell, not Splint Cell, no, Tom Clancy game, which is coming out soon. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. And if you got any comments on this game, uh, post a comment and see what your opinions are.